Good morning students! Magandang buhay at nabutin tao. Ako muli si Sir C.J. Luna at ngayon ay pag-aaralan natin ang Systems of Linear Equations in Two Variables. Last time, ang pinag-aaralan natin ay Linear Equation. And we all know that Linear Equation is an equation that can be written in the form ax plus by equals c where a, b, and c are real numbers and a and b are not equal to zero. Ngayon naman, we will have systems of linear equations. Ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng systems of linear equations? A system of linear equations is a set of two or more linear equations. Okay? So dito, we are considering two or more linear equations. For example, we have this one. Let's say we have uh, a sub 1 x plus b sub 1 y is equal to c sub 1 and then we have a sub 2 x plus b sub 2 y is equal to c sub 2 so here we are considering two equations simultaneously okay so if that is the case meron tayong system of linear equations at mag maglalagay tayo dito ng ng brace. Okay? Ibig sabihin niyan, we are considering them, we are considering these two equations simultaneously. Okay? So, this can be read as the system of equations a sub 1x plus b sub 1y is equal to c sub 1 and a sub 2x plus b sub 2y is equal to c sub 2. Okay? So, let's have an example we have the system of negative 4x plus y is equal to 3 and x plus y is equal to negative 2. So this is a system of linear equations in two variables. Okay? So as you can see, our two equations are written in the standard form. When you say standard form, all of the terms that have the variables x and y are on the left side of the equation while our constant is on the right side okay so we can also rewrite these equations in the slope intercept form at yan ang ating previous lesson then okay so yung slope intercept form ng ating equation number one ay y is equal to 4x plus 3 and the slope intercept form of our second equation is y is equal to negative x minus 2. Okay? So, I hope alam nyo na kung paano i-convert iyan from standard form to the slope-intercept form. Okay? So, ginawa mo lang natin dito. Equation number 1, tinanspose mo lang yung negative 4x. Nilipat mo siya sa right side. Kaya siya naging positive 4x kasi when you are transposing terms, you are changing also the sign. Okay? So, or in proper explanation for that would be we, we will use the addition property of equality. Okay? Para mawala yung negative 4x, mag-add ka ng kanyang additive inverse, which is positive 4x. Okay? So, same with our second equation. We will add negative x para mawala yung x dito. Okay? So, let's now show system of linear equations okay by having the solution ano nga ba yung solution so a solution is an ordered pair x and y that satisfies both equations so ayan emphasize natin both equations so here we are considering all of the given equations dun sa ating uh, given, okay? So, kailangan yung ating ordered pair ay masatisfy niya yung dalawang equations natin. Otherwise, it's not a, it's not a solution. Okay? Kailangan solution siya sa first equation same with the second equation. Okay? So, let's have our first example. Our first ordered pair. So, we have 3x plus y is equal to 7 and x minus 5y is equal to negative, negative 3. This is our system of 
linear equations. Now, let's try an ordered pair kung para makita natin kung siya ba ay solution ng ating given system of equation or hindi. Okay? Let's say we have letter A. We have the ordered pair 2-1. Okay? Is the ordered pair 2-1 a solution or not to our system of linear equations? Okay? So, ang gagawin natin dito ay we will just substitute our x and y coordinates to our equation. Okay? Let's have the first, um, the first equation. We have 3x plus y is equal to 7. And then for the second equation, we have x minus 5y is equal to negative 3. So, unahin natin yung first equation natin. Our x coordinate is x and our y coordinate is 1. So, this will become 3 times 2 plus 1 is equal to 7. Yung x mo ay 2, kaya siya 3 times 2. Yung y natin ay 1, kaya siya naging 1. Okay? Now, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. And 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 is equal to 7. So, equal yung ating mga values dito. 7 is equal to 7. Ibig sabihin, 2, 1 satisfies our first equation. 3x plus y is equal to 7. So, okay tayo doon. Paano naman kaya sa ating second equation? Tignan natin. Our x is 2. So, we have 2 minus 5 times y. y is 1. So, we have 5 times 1 is equal to negative 3. So, let's now evaluate. Simplify natin. 2 minus Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. So, we have minus 5 is equal to negative 3. 2 minus 5 is negative 3 is equal to negative 3. So, they are equal. So, 2, 1 satisfies our second equation. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Nasatisfy nung ating ordered pair yung first equation, ganun din yung second equation. That means... The ordered pair, therefore, the ordered pair 2, 1 is a solution of our given system of linear equations 3x plus y is equal to 7, x minus 5y is equal to negative 3. Okay? So, 2, 1, 2, 1 is a solution. Okay? So, let's have another example. Let's check if the ordered pair um, if the ordered pair negative 3 and 0 a solution or not. Okay? Tignan natin. So, we have the given equations. 3x plus y is equal to 7. And then we have x minus 5y is equal to negative 3. Okay, so we will just substitute the given ordered pair to our equation. So our x is negative 3 and our y is 0. So this will become now 3 times negative 3 plus 0 is equal to 7. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9 plus 0 is equal to 7. Negative 9 equals 7. They are not equal. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, negative 3 is not a, is not a solution. Negative 3, 0 is not a solution to our first equation. Okay? So, dito pa lang, hindi na siya solution. Ibig sabihin, yung negative 3, 0, hindi siya solution sa ating system of equations mismo. Okay? Kasi nga, Sa first equation pa lang, ay hindi siya satisfied. Okay? Pero, uh, for computation, tingnan natin yung pangalawang equation natin. We have negative 3 minus 5 times 0 is equal to negative 3. 
this is 0. Cancel na yun. Okay, so we have negative 3 equals negative 3. So, sa second equation, satisfied yung ating equation. Okay? Pero dun sa ating first equation, hindi siya satisfied. So, kapag ka ganun, sa isa lang siya satisfied, we can say that negative 3, 0 is not a solution to our system of linear equations. Kasi kailangan pareho silang masatisfy. Okay? So, ganun yung ating ginagawang solution dito. Okay? Yung ating computation. Kailangan both equations are satisfied. Okay? Kung isa lang, not a solution. Ganun din kung pareho silang hindi satisfied. Okay? Sige. Let's have another one. Let's say we have the system of equation 2x plus 2y is equal to negative 2. 3x minus 2y is equal to 12. So this is our given system of linear equations. Now let's have our first ordered pair. We have, uh, let's say, 4 and negative 3. Okay? Let's check if the ordered pair 4, negative 3, a solution to our given system of linear equations. Okay? So, let's have the solution. We have here 2x plus 2y is equal to negative 2. And then, second equation is 3x minus 2y is equal to 12. So, let's compute first the first equation. Our x coordinate is 4 and our y coordinate is negative 3. So, this will become 2 times 4 plus 2 times negative 3 is equal to negative 2. So, 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times negative 3, that is negative 6, is equal to negative 2. 8 minus 6 is positive 2, is equal to negative 2. Not equal. We have 3 times 4 minus 2 times negative 3 is equal to 12. 3 times 4 is 12. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6 is equal to 12. This is 18. Is not equal to 12. Okay? So, yung ating given ordered pair ay hindi niya nasatisfy yung ating dalawang equations. Therefore, masasabi natin na ang ordered pair na 4, negative 3 is not a solution to our system of linear equations. Okay, let's have our second ordered pair. So again, we will have the same system of linear equations. Okay? So for letter B, ordered pair natin ay um, 2, negative 3. Okay? Is the ordered pair 2, negative 3 a solution or not a solution to our system of equations? Okay? So, let's have 2x plus 2y is equal to negative 2. 3x minus 2y is equal to 12. So, again, our x coordinate is 2, y coordinate is negative 3. So, we have 2 times 2 plus 2 times negative 3 is equal to negative 2. And then here we have 3 times 2 minus 2 times negative 3 is equal to 12. So let's now solve, okay? So here we have 2 times 2, that is 4. 2 times negative 3, that is negative 6, is equal to negative 2. 
4 minus 6 is equal to negative 2. Equals negative 2. So, equal. Okay? So, our first, our ordered pair satisfies our first equation. Okay? Tignan natin yung ating pangalawang equation. 3 times 2 is 6. Negative 2 times negative 3, that is positive 6, is equal to 12. 6 plus 6 is 12, equal to 12. So, equal sila. Okay? So, dahil sila ay parehong equal, ibig sabihin, ang ating ordered pair 2, negative 3, satisfies both equations. Therefore, 2, negative 3 is a solution. Okay? So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Sana nandihan nyo yung ating uh, pinag-aralan ngayon. Okay? So, yun lang. I hope to see you again next time. Thank you for watching and God bless us all.